All right, guys, I am back. Uh, I completely forgot about reading the, the, oh man. Oh, by the way, I'm out here. I'm killing more enforcers. I'm trying to get more metal and all that kind of stuff. Either way, I completely forgot about reading all the explorer notes that I've discovered off camera. So anyways, let's see which ones I've read, which ones I haven't. Here we have, what was it Helena note number two or three or something like that. I don't know if I've read this one yet. I feel like I haven't. So let's read it real quick. Can I zoom in? Uh, yes, I can zoom in. All right, but it does have that cool little picture there, so I don't want to zoom in too much. Anyways, these machines Santiago's building are brilliant. Somehow he simplified the controls so that even a weirdo biologist like me can move these big blokes as if they're our own body. Ooh, I think they were talking about... Like, look at the heckin' exoskeleton looking thing. Sheesh, that's crazy. That's like a heckin' transformer right there on the left. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we're going to come in contact with one of those things. Maybe we're going to build one. I don't know. Anyways, me, piloting robots. I've completely lost control of my life, honestly. Even Mei Yin was able to synchronize with one, and for a second, I swear, she cracked the tiniest of smiles. I think that brought me more relief than the mechs themselves. She fought so hard to get here, and been through so much. Especially that nightmare with Rockwell and Diana. I hope that at the end of all this, I can help her find some shred of real happiness. She deserves it. All right, so that's Helena or Helena or whatever. Note number three. Yeah, note number three. And then we're going to skip to hacking note number 12. I don't know if we read this one yet. I don't think so. I don't remember all those hands. <laughs> Why is this a debate? We finally have a clue and everyone wants to just go hide in a cave and what? Try not to die? <laughs> sure, we don't know what lies at the other end of that signal. But that's the point. You climb the mountain to find out what's at the peak. We vote on the matter tomorrow, and my stomach's passing the time by tying itself into knots. Could I really have come all this way just to be stopped dead by a few raised hands? Part of me thinks that even if I lose the vote, I should head off on my own. But well, there's a bit of a complication. Mei Yin is voting for the other side. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I really don't like how they're like, oh, and there's probably like a, one or two more of them. I don't like how we're like, finally sporadically uh i, I kind of wish we had all of them and we could read them all in like you know one fell swoop and actually get a good bigger picture i don't know if it, which one i, I might have gotten one of these 3d ones home yet another intangible i don't remember yeah i think i think i remember that 3d one and there was a second one there i don't know if uh the one in waste number two this might be one i have yet to read i don't think this is the city has been empty for so long. Uh, real quick, just glancing through all this, I don't think I've kind of—I don't think I've read this one before. So we did read the first hologram one. Let's see if I can zoom out a bit so we could actually read this better. But uh, let's move on to number two. So that's good. We got the first one, and now we're reading the second one. This city has been empty for so long, far longer than it was full. Yet its prime was truly wondrous, short-lived though it was. A city built by the hands of man under the guidance of something higher. Its towers sparkled, machines filled its streets, and its people harvested miracles from the rivers of violet that flowed beneath its skin. Ooh, I, I guess they're talking about the element, the heckin' molten element underground that we saw in Aberration. It was a marvel. The pinnacle of technological advancement on this planet. It is here where the system was born, and the prototype was forged around it. Whoa, this system they're talking about. Are they perhaps talking about all the arcs and stuff? I don't know. Let's continue reading. But those halcyon days are gone. Now all it offers you is some small protection against the shadows that lurk outside its walls, and even that will prove fleeting. Make use of its skeleton, but do not rely on it. The shadows are seeping through its shield, and a different threat stalks within. Whoa. I guess uh, that's... Oh, jeez. Whoa, that is a... I can barely tell what that is trying to symbolize there. Some sort of creature. At first I thought maybe it's Rockwell, but no, it doesn't look like Rockwell at all. He, he, he still has some semblance of human, but this is like some new creature. I don't know what this is. I guess we're going to find out later. Anyways, yeah, this is just a landscape. I think that's a tower there. That's a tower there. Then all the way back there is probably another tower. So this is probably just the landscape of the city and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, that's kind of interesting. Let's see if we have any more explorer notes I have yet to read. So that's now Helena number, uh, number 312. Helena number 24 we might have already read. Oh, jeez. That might be the thing we just uh, we just saw. I don't know. I, 
I don't know, it kind of looks like Rockwell. I don't know, it's been a while since I've seen him. Although that is a disgusting face reveal, I've got to admit. But today, anyways, maybe we could read about this and uh, find out who or what this creature is. After studying the prison for all this time, I'm only certain of one thing. If I insert it into my implant, something will change forever. Myself, probably, but maybe not. Who's to say I'd even survive the experience? Whatever the case, I think that's what it wants from me, and it wants it urgently. And me? I still want answers, but I keep seeing Rockwell's mutated visage and hearing Mei Yin's words. Yeah, that's Rockwell back there, that disgusting face reveal. Golly. <laughs> Is this how he felt towards the end? Well, I won't make his mistakes. Mei Yin, Raya, Santiago, and all the others who have helped me get here made sure of that. I'll only use the prism if I'm sure it can't hurt the people I care about. And if that means never learning the ultimate truths of the arcs, so be it. Okay, I, I guess in the front there is the protagonist, or at least whoever is, uh, is that Helena? I don't know. Sounds like a woman's name, but that looks like a guy in the front, and then of course, Rockwell haunting this person. Who, well, anyways, so that's three different Helena notes we, I guess, haven't read beforehand, and then one of these, like, 3D ones. Oh, yeah, I think, I think we already read this one, huh? Yeah, I remember the little fetal position fellow protecting his neck and blah 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 blah. Yeah, we've already read this one. So let's see if there's any on the right side that we have yet to read. So we've read all these 3D ones. What about Santiago? I think we've already read one of them. Uh, let's see. I think we might have read that one. Let's, uh, let's see number 24. I don't think we read this one? I don't think so. So this is 24, which happens before the one we read. I think that number 25, I think that might have been one we read, like, really early on, like episode 5 or something like that. Anyways, let's continue reading. It should just work. The mech's power systems fuse perfectly during my teleportation sims. So why does the reactor keep sputtering? The errors I'm getting don't make any sense, but if I ignore them and they turn out to be right, the fusion process could end in a catastrophic reactor meltdown. Unbelievable! Here of all places is where I screw up the most critical juncture of this darned enterprise. Gotta make sure I don't get demonetized, right? <laughs> I'd never make a mistake like this back home, but maybe that's because the original Santiago was better than I am. If I'm just a crude approximation, then some degradation would. No, I'm fixing this just like I always have. Addendum. I swear if there's just a misplaced period on the simulator's code... <laughs> <laughs> a little bug like that, just being a misplaced period on the code. Alright, well, the old Santiago. That's kind of interesting. I, I really do wish we could find more of these Explorer notes uh, and kind of get the bigger picture, you know? That way we're not kind of getting little sporadic little bits and pieces of storyline here and there, and then, you know, later on we're going to have to try and put them all together. I'd rather me get all the Explorer notes and then read them all together, but uh, at least we're kind of getting bits and pieces here, and it's, it's slowly coming together, I guess you could say. Still very, very blurry on this story right now, because we only have like a heck of, maybe not even a tenth, maybe like a twentieth, maybe a thirtieth of all the Explore Notes, I don't know. Because I know there's supposed to be like a ton of them here in Extinction, so sheesh. Yeah, we have a lot ahead of us, you guys. Anyways, I'm going to pause the recording and continue getting a bunch more metal. Oh yeah, didn't I say I wanted to get like silica pearls? And of course I can get them from these beaver. I don't know if I've already got them from these. I'm, I don't know, maybe I have, maybe I haven't. Because that one didn't have silica pearls. In. Oh, okay, yeah. Didn't we need just like two? Oh yeah, uh, leave the wood. I don't need the wood because that weighs too much. But uh, I, I think we only need like one or two silly pearls or something like that, right? To make the Utyranus uh, saddle. So that's good. So now we're going to have all of our... Well, except for the Allosaurus. I still need to make the Allosaurus saddles. But now we're going to have pretty much all of our hard-hitting critters saddled up, I guess you could say. And then I can load them into the Pokeballs, keep them on my inventory, make sure I don't heck and die and lose them, right? And then we'll always be prepared for any orbital supply drops or any more of those element veins that are going to pop up out of nowhere. So let me pause the recording, continue getting a billion more metal, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh man, you guys, it's only been like five minutes since I paused the recording, and just look at this picture. Right there, we have an orbital supply drop. I'll show you guys, I'll tell you guys what color that is here in just a moment if you can't see it. And then right there in the background, we have another element vein, or element node, or whatever it's called. But what in the world? Can we take that? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I think that is an element node there in the background. Oh my gosh. And I don't know if. I can. I, I think I have to walk up to it and find out how much HP it has in order to uh, to to start it. But I guess you know that one right there is a blue supply drop by the looks of it. There's like little bits of blue light coming around it. So what I'm thinking is, uh, let me just double check real quick. 
Yes, easy blue. Okay, so blue is easy for the orbital supply drop. We've never taken one on you guys, and once again, I'm not, I don't even have my critters, unfortunately. So, sheesh, hopefully... I don't know, I'm like, it is easy, and... Apparently, I don't know, it... I think... I think the first element vein we took on wasn't... Didn't I just say that that was, like, actually medium? And then, of course, the second one was actually hard. So we never have taken on an easy element node slash vein. So taking on an easy orbital supply drop, I don't I don't know how easy or how much harder it could be from that medium element vein thing that we uh, defended. Anyways, apparently this works a little bit differently compared to the element vein thing. Apparently it like spawns in a little shield around it and then you're supposed to like to kill all the critters around the shield and, and no like, I guess, I don't know, maybe like, okay, it has 10,000 HP, but apparently it spawns in a little protective force field around it. And you're supposed to, like, kill all the critters trying to break down the force field. And once the force field goes down, of course, they'll be able to attack this thing. Is this going to activate? Oh, jeez, there it goes. Okay, there's the force field I was talking about. So apparently no, no, no corrupted critters can go inside of this force field. Just by my mental reading I've done. But at the same time, we're supposed to, like, defend critters from trying to break in to the force field. Okay, that, that force field isn't even that big. And this is kind of on a cliff as well. So it might be somewhat protected in that sense. I guess maybe not against, uh, like, oh yeah, if we come across, like, flying critters like a Tyrannon, a corrupted Tyrannon, I don't know how we're going to do with that, huh? Hmm. Anyways, let's try and keep our eyes peeled for any corrupted critters, you guys. I kind of want to see, do I have a... Uh, oh yeah, I, I still have element dust in there. Okay, that's good. I still have, like, 700 sheesh. Yeah, I am, like, super hot right now, too. I do want to switch over to like desert cloth or something like that because I am extremely hot right now and I don't want that because I am all right you guys can always see my health is already depleted a little bit because I am getting hyperthermic and stuff so right now I'm not seeing any corrupted critters there is a t-rex over there I don't know what level that thing is we'll see if we can our spyglass out and uh, level 4 not, not even that bad it is a female I am not seeing any corrupted critters is it saying uh oh wait right there it said uh, the tech force field how much HP it had is it going to tell me? Oh, there it was a second ago. Let me see. Yep, tech force field, 10,000 out of 10,000. Let's go see what this says. Does it say there's like, is waiting on anything? Oh, okay, yeah, four hostiles. Okay, so we have to kill four hostiles. Uh, I was about to say, like, what in the world's taking so long? Must be hostiles, like, down here. That might be, uh, maybe that stego? I don't know. I'll kill that stego, though. Just kind of kill anything that might be inside the bubble before it actually starts. There is a Tyrannon up there, but I think that might be a regular one. See if we can find any more corrupted critters around here. Because, of course, we're going to have to clean them out just like the Element Vein one before we could actually take on, or I guess defend. I keep on saying take on, but you guys all know what I mean. <laughs> before we could actually defend the Orbital Supply Drop. And then, uh, oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Here's some critters already trying to break in. There we go. Is that it? Is that all four of them? I'm like, they weren't even inside the bubble. Well, let's see. One hostile remaining, so I guess those Dilophosaurus were actually some of the critters it was talking about. Let's go around here. See if we find anything else that may be attacking the outer perimeter of this force field. Because apparently, hey, you guys saw it right there. Those Dilophosaurus were like stuck on the force field. So that just goes to show, yes, corrupted critters cannot go inside the force field. So, oh man, I'm trying to find this last critter. I don't know where it would be. I'm going all around the circumference of this thing and I'm not finding it at all. <laughs> And I don't think it'd be inside, or else it might have been pushed out by the force field whenever the force field initially got launched, right? So, I don't know where it could be. Hmm. I may have to take a minute here and try and find it, you guys, golly. <laughs> oh! It looks like, it looks like whatever it was has died. That's good. I just turned on the, uh, the outlines thing for my spyglass, so I could at least find this critter easier, but... I don't know where it is now, okay. <laughs> whatever. Anyways, let's go outside of the force field, because this is mainly where we're going to be defending it, I assume, because, that, like I said earlier, that cliff over there seems like it's, it's going to protect that orbital supply drop pretty well, unless, of course, there's going to be, like, Tyrannodons or anything like that. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, the T-Rex. Yeah, you can see the little outline on the T-Rex turned red, because that means he is a hostile critter. But I think we're going to be taking on corrupted critters. Let's see. Oh, yep, speaking of corrupted critters, there's a corrupted Tyrannodon right there. I don't know if I'll be able to take that guy on, unless I warp up to him and hit him. There we go, I got him. Did I kill him, though? I don't think I did. I don't think so. Do I have to teleport to him again? Oh, jeez. Come on. Why can't I teleport to him? Oh, my God. I don't know. I can't teleport. Oh! 
I hit him. A there we go. I got him again. How's that corrupted turn around? Oh, wait. I, might, I, I think I'm hitting the force field. Yep, I think I was hitting the force field. Whoops. Because I was doing 2,000 damage to him on that hit right there. Let's see. Any more critters? Uh, I'm not seeing any more of them. If they're hostile, they're going to be outlined in red, as you guys just saw. But I'm not seeing any more of them, you guys. Yeah. The main thing I'm watching out for are the actual Tyrannons, because they, they seem like they're going to be the toughest, because they're going to be flying, you know? Oh, here we go. Here are some critters. Yeah, I think I might turn the outline thing off, maybe. I don't know. I'm like, it is kind of helpful. It does make it easier to find these critters, so I don't spend like 10 years going around and going around in circles, too, trying to find these guys. At least I'd be able to see them a little bit easier. And here we go. Well, it doesn't outline them in red. I do still have to, like, find them. It only outlines them in red. Oh, jeez, it's getting smaller. I think it's because it's getting damaged. Oh, jeez, the force field's only down to 2,000. Holy, I think a lot of that is because of me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Come here. Away from the force field. I don't want to damage it any more than it already is. Golly. It's already shrunk. I don't know what wave we're on. Probably on wave one still. Sheesh. Let me go check on the, uh, the, the thing. It's only down to 600 HP. Wave one out of five. Two hostiles remain. Golly, the force field's already going down. You kidding me? We're going to fail this thing already. <laughs> Maybe, uh... Ah, oh, man. I'm not seeing any more critters trying to attack this thing. They might be on the other side. They might be, like, trapped under the cliff. Uh, yeah, uh... Looks like that one's trying to attack it, yeah. There we go, that's one. Is there a, oh, yep, here we go, here's number two. And that should be all of them of wave one, right? Is the force field going to be replenished, or is it going to stay at 600 out of 10,000 HP? I think the force field's staying the same, you guys. No! Oh, man, Wave 1 almost killed the force field already. Are you kidding me? Man, well, at least the orbital supply drop itself has 10,000 HP. Now, down there, we have a couple pteranodons. I kind of want to kill them preemptively. That's a regular one. Whoops. Yeah, that's a regular one as well. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> now, that little protective force field has gotten smaller, so I don't even know if it overhangs over the cliff anymore, but we still may have hostiles. Oh! Speaking of such, seems like we have a couple Stegos and a couple Dilophosauruses down here that may be heading our way, so let's just go take care of them real quick at 2,233 damage per hit. No problemo. Golly. Oh, here we go. Here's the Tyrannons I was talking about. Man, they're going to be so tough to try and get, except for this one, I guess, because it's like right here at the ground, but... No, they already they knocked it down. The force field is down. Oh, my God. Well, they're going to start attacking the thing unless they come over here and attack me instead. Yeah, kill me instead. Kill me instead. I don't want you guys to tell- oh my god, is this thing almost dead? Oh, it's already down! I think that one- I think that's all my damage, honestly. I'm not bragging, but like, come on. <laughs> I need to regain some stamina, though. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing a shadow of a- oh, there he is. There you go, just killed him. So it seems like a lot of these Tyrannons- the, the Tyrannons are the main problem for me. Seems like we have a couple critters over here we we'll need to take on. Just a couple of horses. It is an easy one, don't tell me I'm gonna fail on a heckin' easy. Orbital supply drop, you guys. Sheesh. This is what I'm talking about. When they have so so little health, you'd think that it'd be harder to defend. And they'd be like the blue one would be classified as hard, because it only has 10,000 HP, you know, it has less HP. Oh jeez, I'm going accidentally. Oh, I did 130 damage to the orbital supply drop, I think. Golly, it's already down to 9,700 something Oh jeez, somewhere over here. Yeah, it looks like Yeah, this little like outline thing is it's honestly I'm, I'm liking it. I'm not, I'm not wasting thousands of years trying to find all these critters. I can just see them, like, almost right off the bat. So that's number one out of the six, I think, that we're looking for. I kind of want to go back up and see if anyone's already uh, started attacking the... Jeez, I'm seeing outlines all over the place. Sheesh. Oh, yep, yep, up here. One, two, three. Oh, well, four, I guess you could say. Because, of course, that one we already killed. And, yeah, two hostiles left. And one. And where's number two? Not seeing it, but he could be a small little dilo that I can't really see too well right off the bat. Or he's like glitched out down there. I don't I don't know. I, I don't know where he is. Golly, I don't know. Oh, is that it? Oh, I guess it died. Wave three is starting now. Hey, I guess just like the initial wave. It, it just heckin' timed out, I guess. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, I need to eat some food. Yeah, my food's getting kind of low. Need to watch out for that. Oh, yeah, because I am in the area where your hunger drains faster, I think, right? Just with that little icon on the bottom is. But I guess after we take this on, maybe we can go look at that element vein over there. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave that element vein there for a while until I at least make the second, uh, what do you call it, enforcer. As well as get my 
critters in their Pokeballs. That way we could take one on, if that's even like a hard or legendary element vein over there, that way we'd be nice and prepared, and we wouldn't be taking it on solo like we are for this thing, you know? Anyways, is that a, oh, it is a Corrupted Tyranitar, oh my god! Yeah, I, do, I really need to watch out for these guys. Oh! Get over here, aggro on me, yes, die! Another one right there, die! So that's two down, I'm seeing some critters over here, I think that's a Utah Raptor, yep, Corrupted Utah Raptors. They're starting on wave three. Now this is easy, so. Oh wait, oh, oh okay, I, I thought that was another critter right there, but it's not. All right, it's Blink. Blink towards the Stego and the Raptor. There we go, at least, at least we're getting Raptors now, so we, we can see them a little bit easier than we would for Dilos, which we do have a Tran on over here too. And, oh, missed. <laughs> there we go, got that one. Let's see. Uh, 16, holy, 16 more hostiles remain. Oh, geez, that Stego just appeared out of nowhere, oh my god. Well, I guess they're, oh, here we go, yeah, we still have Dilos, though. We still have Dilos, so they're not out of the question just yet. We still need to watch out for these tiny little critters that can sneak past us at any moment. But at least they're in pretty darn, look at all these heckin' Dilos here, you guys. They might be distracting me from all the Tyranons that are fighting us at the actual Oracle Supply Drop itself, so let's go back. Okay, thankfully there's not. <laughs> Alright, it's still doing pretty well. It's down to five! Wow, only five hostiles left, that's good. And that's one. And any more. So we're down to four hostiles. Oh! Four, three. Three hostiles left. I'm seeing one that looked like it was glitched under that. That was kind of weird. I'm hearing the music! Oh! He's right there! Oh! There we go, got him! And I didn't attack the, uh, the thing, too. That's good. <laughs> Where is this last one? Or the last two, I think. I think there's two left. We're doing a really good job defending this thing, even though we don't have the heckin' force field, and I accidentally heckin' destroyed it. Yeah, two left! Mmm... I'm not seeing them, I think they might be down here again, you guys. On the bottom side of the cliff. Let's go down here real quick. See if we can find- Oh! I think- Yes, there's one right there. Okay, so that's one left after this. And hopefully we'll have to wait for this last one to time out, <laughs> like we have for the other ones. I'm liking this little mechanic- Oh! Did it just cancel, uh, wave three? Yep, it did. It <laughs> I heard that little sound of it just like, okay. Just start wave four already. Golly. Is it? <laughs> Alright, here we go, wave four. So it is uh, increasingly getting harder. I guess you could say they're spawning in harder critters, harder hitting critters. They started spawning in raptors for wave number three. I don't know if they're going to get like T Rexes or anything like that. Or, yeah, I think they're going to get like Parasitheriums. If I remember from the uh, the other one, I think that it might be Parasitheriums. I don't know. Anyway, oh, yep, once again, we need to watch out for the corrupted Tyranons. Thankfully, they're not actually attacking the thing, and they're just attacking me instead, or at least get- Oh, yep, right as I say that, that one starts attacking it, sheesh. <laughs> come here, come here! Oh, he just- he's right, he's gone. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Get over here, Ada. Oh my god! Oh my god, sneak attack! Get him! There we go, got him! Thankfully, I can kill these things when I can hit, sheesh! Um, oh, I think I see a trail of them. And I'm seeing a trail of them up there as well. Very, very faint. You, you, if you guys are watching on like a phone or something like that, you probably can't see these tiny little dilos and a trail heading towards us. But I'm going to try and take these guys on before they can even get anywhere near the orbital supply drop itself. Let's go up here. Let's blink. And it's going to use up a little bit of our stamina, but at least I'll be able to get up here a little bit faster. And none of them made over here. That's good. Now I can see these three, what looks like maybe three dilos here. One, two, Three, that's three down. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, and there's a fourth one up here, too. Ah, 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 four. And I see a couple more of them up there. Let's blink, blink, hurry up. Get him, yeah, got him. Man, how many are left? Wait, man, we've already killed, like, probably half of Yeah, oh my god, three hostiles left. That is nothing. See, uh, no, no, that one's already dead. Yeah, none of them are really coming from this direction, I guess, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> Is that a, oh, yep, that's one Stego, so that's going to be two left after this. So there we go, we got him. Might as well harvest the dead flesh, get a little bit of the corrupted nodules while I'm at it, right? But I'm not seeing any other ones. If anything, maybe some of the critters are coming from that element vein up there, I don't know. I think that thing might be dormant until we, like, activate it, I guess you could say. Well, of course, we have to be, like, right up next to- Oh! And once again, it looks like there's one, like, glitched under the thing itself. Oh, yeah, speaking of such, there might be one, like, on this cliffside again. Uh, yep, looks like at least, yep, here we go, here's at least one right here, so there we go, Corrupted Dilo. Is there another one? Maybe... Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh no, oh yeah, I have no stamina, that's why I can't blink. <laughs> I was wondering why I can't blink. 
Alright, there we go. Yeah, not enough stamina to climb now. Yeah, let's take a stamina break. While we wait for this thing to just kind of reset on this last one. Yep, last one. It's, it's only at 9667. I thought it'd be way further down than that, you guys. Golly! Especially because the force field died, like, literally on wave one. Sheesh. Oh! There you go. It, it, it made the noise again. It's ready for wave five. Yep. And there's the music. Wave five of five. Hostiles approaching. All right, let's stay near here. Because, of course, we're going to have Tyrannon's very first... Uh, as the very first critters attacking us. I guess he may be from a distance. Looks like a... Nah, uh, looks like a dire bear there in the background. We do need to watch out for these flying Tyrannons. As opposed to... Tyrannons that can't fly, right? <laughs> let's keep on... Let's see. I'm not seeing any of them right off the bat. Thankfully, I guess. Or maybe none of them are going to come over here. I don't know. How many hostiles are there? 17! Thought it'd be way more than that, but whatever. It is an easy one, so... Nah, what are you going to do, right? Oh, there's a hot, there's a, uh, there's a corrupted turret on right there. You're going the wrong, oh, he's coming, he's coming, he, he turned, he turned. Get over here, aggro on me. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, he's aggro on me, that's good. Oh, both of these are aggro on me. There we go, two with one, two birds with one crit and forcer hit. Yes. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid meme. Oh. Uh, I don't think we had raptors on, uh, wave number four, did we? Well, that's the first time we had a raptor since wave number three. But, and where are the Parasaurotheriums at? Maybe they only appear on, uh... Medium ones, I don't know. Like I said earlier, uh, that, that first element vein we defeated, that was apparently medium, because they had like, I think 25,000 health. While this one, you can see this one has 10,000 health. The uh, the easy element vein thing has 10,000 health, just like this one does. And you can see this one's easy because it's colored blue. Anyways, do have uh, more critters over here, but 17, I thought it'd be way more than that. Well, like, most of these are going to be heckin' dialos anyways, but hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> these things are so easy. Everything is just a one-hit for me. One-hit wonder, I guess you could call it. There we go, to kill these things. We got a couple more of them up here, probably. Let's get up there. Real wiggity split. Oh! oh I thought that's ran on. Oh! Oh! No, you don't, dialo! There you go! Got him! Any more of them? Yep. I'm seeing two of them. Here's one. Here's two. And that's... How many, uh, left? Three! Only three left. Okay. Is it a train on? I'm hearing the music still, I don't know why. <laughs> I love when there's battle music and there's literally nothing going on. <laughs> it just fades in and out for no reason. Yeah, I'm not seeing them, you guys. It might be on it might be on the other underside of that cliff again. Don't have to go check that, but this is wave five out of five. So this is Ooh, this is getting pretty tense. Yep, there's one down there, so that's gonna be two left. Oh, how'd I miss? There we go, two left after that. And then, oh, yep, here it is. And then, of course, I guess we're going to wait for the last one to just randomly die or something like that, right? All right. Oh! Oh! Orbital supply drop defense complete! We did it! Oh! We did it! So does that mean I can look inside of it? Oh! Eject items. Oh, wait, hold on. What in the world? Oh, there we go. Eject items. Oh! What happened? Oh, gee! Holy! <gasps> what? Enduro, oh man, I'm getting a lot of stuff, holy heck, is this what, I thought it'd be like a heck of, oh my god, oh, some of these are, oh yeah, some of, that one's got like purple coming out of it, that means it's epic, I think I saw a couple of them just a second ago, oh, here we go, I think that's a Pokeball on the ground, hold on, let me start with some of this trash in its inventory, let's go, yep, empty cryopod, empty cryopod, nice, and this one's got the, uh, oh, not that one, well, this one's blue, so that's, uh, epic, I think, or rare, and that looks like a, whoa, 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 whoa. did I just pick up? No. Oh, jeez. Okay, for a second I thought I just picked up a, a, rep, a heckin' tech replicator, but I guess not. Must have just been a cryopod. Whatever. I'm not going to complain. Lazarus chowder, that's nice. Is there anything else around here? How far did those just eject? Is that all of them? Just like right next to you? I think it might be. Either way, that's some pretty good significant loot, you guys. Wow. So I guess that's one way of, I guess, another way of getting legitimate, uh, little Pokeball things. I, I was kind of like, eh, I'm, I'm not really liking the fact that we got those Pokeballs from the Santa thing, because you could construe it as being, you know, illegitimate. But since we got them from the Orbital Supply, we got four of them. Ah, uh, probably more, right? We got at least four. Yeah, I think we got four in total from the Orbital Supply drop right there. Not even bad at all. Did we get any metal? I don't know. Well, we can get a little bit of metal from this epic pike. Not too bad. Got a lot of stone, which I'm like, I can use it. But uh, I'll just put all that up for right now. And we got 100 polymer right there. That's always good, too. Noish. How many Pokeballs do I have right now? Oh, yeah, I just have one on my person. Oh, get away from me, hater. All right, is that it? Because they do despawn. I think it was in 10 minutes. I think that little thing symbolized. kind of want to drop off that stone because it's just dead weight. I'm not going to. I don't need that. If I need stone, I can get it like easy peasy, no problemo. And I'm not bragging either. 
Let me get to, uh, let me just drop all the stone. Just drop all that trash. Stoneroo! Dropping you. And I guess we drop, uh, Stone pillar, 108 pounds. Golly, yeah, I get rid of that garbage. Did, now we just dropped like heckin' 500 pounds or something like that, right? Now, can I... Is it possible for me to zoom in on this thing and see how much health that core has? And I don't want to get too close to it where it, uh... Oh, and by the way, my critters that are tame to me have the green outline, which is kind of cool. And I can turn this thing off by doing that. There we go. So now we have that little outline thing turned off. So I guess we can turn it on and turn it off when we need to at will. Especially during these, like, element nodes and orbital supply drop things. Very, very helpful. Now, I don't want to get too close to this thing, but I don't know if my... Spyglass can pick up the core's health, because if, if I could see how much health that has, I could see what, le like, what level this is, because they're all purple like this. And of course, once you defeat them, they turn blue, and you can mine them. But yeah, I, I, I think I'm just going to leave that one there. Let's just bookmark that in our minds. Come back here and pretty soon, actually, uh, while I'm in the area. How much carry weight do I have? Eh, I'll probably just kill a few more enforcers. I was about to say, like, maybe I'll go back to the winter biome, get a bunch more metal from the mountaintops and stuff over there, but I'll probably make a separate trip off camera to go get those, but I'll probably kill a few more enforcers and uh, get, you know, more scrap metal that way. But I'm going to I'm going to actually pause the recording again, continue working towards that one thousand. Oh, is that another enforcer down there? Yep. Yeah, it is. No. No, that's a dire. No, that's a dialogue. And a pack of raptors. Kill him. Kill him. There we go. Got him. All right. Unfortunately, I can't mine the. Uh, I can't harvest those. Those things. I keep. What is that thing called, though? God, I keep on forgetting about it. What is it? Oh, I thought, oh defense unit. Yeah, defense unit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of earlier, and like five seconds ago too. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna have to kill more enforcers. They do give you a decent amount of uh, scrap metal and stuff. And like I said earlier, it's a one to one ratio. Once we smelt that, so it's not like I have to have two scrap metal to get one scrap metal ingot or anything like that, you know? So anyways, that was a pretty cool little oral supply drop. Our very first one too. Very excited for more of them here in the future. But for right now, let me pause the recording, go back home, try and get more metal so we can afford the tech replicator and then a little bit more metal on top of that where we can afford our level 135 or level 123 enforcer that I want to make immediately after making the tech replicator. So. Oh, there's an enforcer right there, so let me pause the recording, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Let me uh, mine this guy with my pick so I get more uh, materials. And 45 scrap metal right there, nice. That's 45 ingots right there. Common, eh, drop that, <laughs> drop that garbage, I don't need that trash. I'll see you guys here in a bit.